Hey everybody, this is Chad. Uh, as promised, here's a quick look at Bob's corals that he is uh, just beginning to start to uh, grow and sell. That I noticed, and they're coral, they're frag tanks, tanks that are designed to grow fragments of corals out. Um, how long have you been doing that part of this? We've been doing this for a while also here. A lot of these corals came from a reef tank where we're fragging them and selling them off to the store. This is a separate system here from here over. On the top, we're housing gobies, and on the bottom two tanks here are corals. We have hard corals on this side, soft corals on the other. We have filtration underneath here, which has a pump, protein skimmer inside there, UV sterilizer. What was different from this and all the other ones, we also have a chiller on this here. The clownfish, we really want them up in the low 80s, but with corals, it's a little bit too warm, so we're using a chiller on this system. Okay, and so this, this system doesn't connect at all to the clownfish? No, system. no, it's totally separate. In fact, we moved the chiller over here by the clownfish just to get some of the heat away from this. We're actually using heat for the clowns, but we don't want heat over here. And then as, again, as far as uh, pathogens or hitchhikers, these are free of flatworms or any of the things that you might get on your poles? Yes, you know, we've got the UV sterilizer right here, but most of this stuff is coming from our reef tank that we've had for years. Okay. Again, very safe stuff if, if people want to buy it. Uh, I'm going to take the underwater camera and dive in there so I can show people a little bit better because there's some, some pretty corals in there. Bob is just beginning to do the coral fragging thing and as you can see he's already started off pretty well. He's got leathers and uh, green star polyps which are some of your uh, easier more traditional corals but that's not all that he has. He also has quite a few uh, very nice stony corals as well. Um, some some brains and some Duncans, um, some very very nice. Look at that and the purple tips on those uh, um, beautiful SPS there. Um, personally, uh, nice chalice. As I was uh, looking at it, and, and this picture doesn't quite do it justice. Those green star polyps were one thing that really stood out to me. You see those frequently, and these brains as well. Um, they, they stood out to me, you see them frequently, but the, the colors on his were really neon. So I must admit that I had to uh, take um, some of those green star polyps home, and they're growing in my tank quite nicely now. Anyway, Bob is now fragging some corals and doing really good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.